Charlie Chuckles Cousins. All right, Chuckles might be the nickname, but he's not here to make you laugh. He's here to make you fight. In the blue corner, weighing in at 185 pounds, representing Sutherland MMA. One win, no loss. From Bay City, Michigan, it's Charlie Chuckles Cousins. No question about it. These you guys got to be good at stuff. everything. It's real and it is multifaceted. And you never know what you're going to see. You're never going to know if you're going to see a big knockout in the first 30 seconds, a very exciting submission, or a battle that goes all the way to the end and then you see who wins. I, I don't think the strongest fighter, the hardest hitter, always wins in MMA. No. I say the smartest fighter does. I agree with you. They're all tough. They're all the same weight. It comes down to strategy and conditioning. Strategy is the most important key. Cousins on top of some good action here from both men. You know, Cousins did something maybe a little uh, apprehensive. He kind of turned his head on the way in with that engagement, which is not a good idea. He's did a nice job getting it to the ground. Uh, Mason trying to hang in there, but Cousins just bullying him around at this point. It might seem uneventful to many of the people watching right now, and especially if this is the first time you've ever watching MMA. But strategy is all a part of what is happening right now. Cousins hitting the top mount, does a nice job passing that guard. Good counter. Beautiful yeah. job passing guard. Spins over and he's actually in the guard himself. Very you nice know, I move talked, by Mason. I talked to Charlie before this fight and he said he actually prefers to be on the ground. He prefers the ground, he prefers jiu-jitsu, which again, coming out of Sutherland's MMA is, is kind of a statement. Yeah, that's kind of scary if he's got some good boxing and he likes jiu-jitsu better. He's got the best boxing up there. And he, he says better for be careful, we can see another arm bar coming up. He's looking for it. Mike Mason happen. pulls out. He says for conditioning, he runs the sand dunes up in Michigan. And he said it is grueling. I didn't know they had sand dunes in Michigan. Oh, they got a lot of sand up in Michigan. They got beautiful lakes, beautiful sand, beaches. And he runs them. Cousins trying to bull Mike Mason down. Mason hanging around the waist. And down there he, he goes. goes. Nice takedown, Charlie Cousins. Beautiful job. I'm going to tell you right now, Chuckles is not laughing. He's being very serious about what he wants to do here in the cage. It is fight best. Mason landing some right hands here, but now Chuckles going from behind, trying to get the, the back a little high there. Hey, Charlie, to... Charlie's just keeping position, taking his time. He's showing some good composure here. I'm taking advantage of every opening that he sees. Referee Jerry Chris he tells him, watch the back of the head. No striking allowed to the back of the head, nor the spine. Actually, in amateur division, the only thing that's allowed to touch the face is the fist. Second time we've seen Mason just flip himself out of trouble. Looking very good there. And hammering down now on Cousins. Mason trying to get his best offense in the fight so far. It's been a very even first round here in Canton, Ohio. Yeah, I would go with Cousins thus far up to date. Just an aggression. Showing good takedowns, dominance in terms of position, but uh, Mike Mason doing a nice job here, Ron, coming back. Full guard here by Cousins, and we'll see what Mason can do punching down. Referee wants to see more action. He told both fighters, show Ten me seconds. something. Ten seconds left in the first round. And back him up a little bit. Will he let Cousins up? No! Yeah, you're a North East Steve. Coast in Canton, uh, Ohio, and I can't I, tell you. I, 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 I kind of figured very, out. I was trying to give you a plug. You know, Bean is very, <laughs> I appreciate the plug. You know, Bean is very humble and very coachable, which makes him tough. Round two, Mason makes and him Cousins tough. here at 185 pounds. We saw it pretty even in the first round. Cousins That's landing nice, a nice jab. right hand. Nice jab by Charlie Cousins. Did he follow it up? I couldn't see Jeff. Couldn't quite follow up, but he did back him into the cage, and I was trying to make, take Mason down. But Mason's fighting it for all he's worth. I gotta tell you, Mike Mason making a debut, taking this on off the cuff. He's doing a pretty decent job up there thus far. Did we get a low blow there? No. No. Cousins throwing those knees and taking him down. There it goes. Beautiful, beautiful transition. Unbelievable. I haven't seen that for two years. Last time I saw that move was in the UFC. Hit that guillotine, dropped down into a butterfly guard, completely rolled over and hung on to it for the submission. Beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, at 44 seconds into the second round, your winner, Charlie Chuckles Cousins. Charlie Cousins gets the win. He is now 2-0. Sutherland, once again, MMA, continues to do an outstanding job out of Bay City, Michigan. And this young man looks like very much the winner. Let's go up to Steve Heinen, who is standing by with the winner. Charlie Chuckles Cousins, congratulations. Beautiful, beautiful job. Uh, first round you came out, looked like it was back and forth, although I feel you dominated it. 
Murray Sutherland come up there in between rounds. Tell us a little bit about what he had to say. Yeah, he wanted me to stand up, which is fine. I like it on the ground. I stood up. I take him down. That was about it. He hit that guillotine, dropped into a butterfly guard, continued the roll, hung on to it, and come up for the submission. That's a move I haven't seen in some time. Beautiful job on that, on that guillotine. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's power jiu-jitsu right there. I trained that for years. That's what I like. What's next? 4-0 next time. 4-0.